Welcome to the Cancellation and Expiration Reports course in EZU. In this course, you will learn how to run cancellation and expiration reports. So, let's get started. To navigate there, hover over the reporting icon and click on Policy Management. Once the Policy Management Reports page appears, click on the Policy Transaction Detail Report. As soon as the report appears, we'll want to ensure each field is accurate for pulling a list of policy cancellations and expirations. Let's begin by making our selections in each field from left to right, top to bottom. First, choose the desired agency branch if applicable. Next, you can choose a particular line of business if you'd like, but I'm going to leave them all selected for this example. The next field, Transaction Type, is where we want to select Cancellation and Non-Renewal. Go ahead and unselect All, then select Cancel Confirmed and Non-Renewal. For the download field, you can leave this as only matched or include unmatched as well if you have a lot of policies in the unmatched folder. Now, for the date select field, choose policy cancellation date. In the assigned agent dropdown, you can choose specific agents, select all, or choose a single agent. For the policy term, you can choose 6 months, 12 months, or other, but I'll leave them all selected for now. In the Current Policy Status field, select whether you want to pull Active, Inactive, Unknown, or all of the above. If you're looking at previous months, you'll want to at least choose Inactive Customers, as the policy would have already been cancelled and the customer inactive in the system. However, for this example, I'll choose All because we'll be running a report for upcoming cancellations and expirations. For the start date, I'll select 9-1-2021, and for the end date, I'll select 9-30-2021, so we can see all cancellations and expirations for the month of September. Then, choose the master company in the dropdown if you want to single out a specific carrier. I'll leave all master companies selected so we can see a snapshot of all canceled and expiring policies across every carrier. Next, choose the policy type if you wish to do so. Once again, I'll leave this at all so we can see both commercial and personal policy cancellations and expirations. Lastly, you can review the Manage Columns dropdown to interchange columns that will be visible in the report. Certain columns come pre-selected for you, but you can uncheck the box to the left of the column name to hide them from the report. In this case, I'll leave the pre-selected columns alone, but I'll select Date Cancelled and Expiration as columns to be added to the report. Once all fields are to your liking, click the View Report button at the top right. Please note that if you make changes to any of the fields after clicking View Report, you'll need to click the button again for the data to refresh based on the changes made. It's also important to note that reports are not in real time, meaning if you just had a cancellation come in the day of running the report, it will not populate on the report until the next day. That being said, you'll need to go back into the report the following day and click the View Report button again for the system to populate any new changes that have taken place during the past 24 hours. Now, let's take a look at the data in the report we just ran. At the top, you'll see three boxes which give you a snapshot of what the report entails. One box is for total customers, one for total transactions, and one for total written premium. These are important figures to have when viewing the report at a glance. If you scroll down, you'll see the details outlined in all the columns we selected to pull data for. You can sort each column from ascending to descending, or vice versa, by clicking the arrow icons to the right of the column header. The columns can be sorted regardless of whether they're alphabetical or numerical values. If there is more than one page of data, you can navigate to the next page by clicking the right arrow icon in the top left corner. To download a copy of the report, click on the icon that resembles a downward arrow with a line underneath. This will allow you to download the report in an Excel, PDF, or CSV file format. To the right of the download icon is the print icon, which allows you to print the report if desired. That concludes this tutorial. You should now have the knowledge to create and run cancellation and expiration reports in EasyLinks. Thanks for watching!